Hello, this is the caravan, the, the, the uh, Swift Classic Doublet. It's a four berth caravan and it was made in 1997. Um, I'm going to make this video because you need to know the condition of this van. What does work, what doesn't work, um, what works on what, what doesn't work on what. Uh, so you can make an informed decision before you bid. Um, it's going to be on eBay at 99p. <coughs> um, it'll run the full length of the auction. I don't want to swap it for anything and I'm not taking offers what it goes for it goes for so bid assuredly that at the end of the auction this van will still be here and um, we'll just take a quick look around it I'll show you inside I'll do the outside first and show you the inside it has the Alco um, hitch lock the anti-sway hitch lock fitted the black plug and the grey plug and under the front cover there is two gas bottles that gas bottle there is full this one here is nearly full and it has the regulator and pipe spare wheel and the leg winder down there for the corner steadies <coughs> um, the aqua roll, aqua roll water butt with a brand new uh, whale pump that's coming with it you're also getting the, the handle for the water butt for rolling it for filling up. We'll take a look down this side. Just before we take a look inside, we need to talk about um, dimensions and weights. Because this is quite a large caravan. Um, from the very back of the caravan, these are the outside measurements, from the back of the caravan to from the back of the caravan to the front of the caravan, that length is uh, 19 feet. And from the back of the caravan to the front of the towing eye, it's 22 feet. The caravan is 7 foot wide and approximately 9 feet tall. Um, it weighs unladen 950 kilograms and its maximum weight is 1200 kilograms so to tow this caravan legally your car would have to have um, a minimum curb weight of 1412 kilograms and that is important because anything less than that and um, you'll be towing the caravan legally so just to run over that again your car, its curb weight, which you'll find in the logbook, has to be at least 1,412 kilograms, and that'll achieve what they call um, an 85% ratio. That's between car and caravan. Um, and the nose weight is about 85%. Um, so, them's the details, very important, you need to know that. We'll now take a look inside. Behind this door is the Thetford cassette toilet. This door can be some, sometimes be a little stiff to open, um, but it, it locks and unlocks, as does the one for leisure battery. All the locks work on the van. Um, what you do with this, <coughs> this bottom section is your uh, wastewater cassette, and to remove it for emptying, you flip this little yellow plate down and slide it out. Now this comes all the way out, and you can carry it away to a drain, um, and you empty it by turning this around like this and screwing the cap off uh, tip it down the appropriate drain give it a flush with fresh water flush it um, tip it again empty it put a couple of liters of fresh water in and the blue fluid the blue fluid goes in the bottom that's for breaking down matter and waste and the top section is your flush for the Thetford cassette toilet inside and all you do with this is when this when it stops pumping inside the van screw this cap off pour some pink fluid in here and then tip fresh water in until it's full and that's your flush for your toilet so that's your cassette toilet next to it we have the leisure battery and the point for the hook up so behind the app you have your battery there and you have your 240 volt hook up here and this, this is just a pushing connector
it also it's also got um, a motor mover the electric device for moving the caravan around with a remote which is inside now I've not had this um, this, this mover working I think there's an isolator switch somewhere and I just can't find it um, so whether it works or not I don't know but it has a motor mover on it um, it's fairly good across the back it has a little mark here just here um, the wastewater container that's coming with it and the pipes that just push into the connectors underneath all the lights work this corner's all good and it's good across the back down this side there's one or two little dings uh, there's one here couple here, just in this area, little one there, um, and one there, caravan step, that's coming with it as well, this tyre is good, there's another little ding here, in that, bit here tiny one here I'm just pointing these out because you need to know the condition of it a little bit here here and there and a little bit up top these will be from when people are putting awnings on it so all in all not too bad on the outside um, what I'll do next I'll Take a little video inside and then you can see what's going on in there. So as you're coming into the caravan, um, it's the stable door. And what that means is you can turn that that way and the bottom part shuts and the top half will remain open like this. Uh, there's a light above the door but the covers missing and some of these other bulbs if you come into the van <coughs> up here is the override switch the, the, the main switch for the lighting inside the van but all the lights can turn off and on independently so I'll just leave them on for the minute so as you come in um, you have the the two 40 volt lights, these work on the hookup. Um, and there's spotlights in there, these are 12 volt now. The lights work, as I say, you can turn them off and on to suit, so they're all on. Um, the one under the sink, over the sink, is on. And as you come in, there's plenty of cupboard space above this diner area. And these here are the the uh, palmets for for the windows pen in the back side they keep falling off <laughs> excuse me French uh, yeah all dry in there and in here here we go I need to show you everything then you can make an informed decision about this caravan more cupboard space down here shelf across the front above the windows cupboards here cupboards everywhere <laughs> you have a couple of shelves here more cupboards over the sink next with another cupboard and this has got like a, a, a train uh, racking it for, for plates and cups and things now to the back of the van it's um, a separate washroom and shower and it has a sliding door here that makes it private from the rest of the van and all you do is you just pull that down and slide this door across like this so it separates the bathroom and the shower area from the rest of the van 
and here is the, uh, the table which I'll show you later. So when the door, when you're moving, leave the door open, tip it back so the door doesn't rattle about everywhere and that table behind there doesn't fall over. As you come into the bathroom, um, you come to a vanity unit with a cupboard above. Window to the back with a blind on it. Oh, the blind works okay. This lifts up. And then you run the bolt across to hold that into place, which then gives you a sink underneath. Lift this up, plug with the sink. Cold water. I'll just better make sure the pump's turned on. One second. Yep, so cold water. I've got the cold water. It's pushing air out, so I'll just let it there you go. Cold water and hot water. Now the hot water gets hot in this van. And there's two ways to get hot water in this van, which I'll show you as I'm going round. So those taps work. Uh, shower base, shower taps and shower head. There's a vent above, a light and to this side there's a perspex door and this pulls, release this catch and this pulls to and shuts like this. Get it back. I'll just take the shower head out into the sink and then you can see that that works. So this is where I might get a bit wet. It's where I need another pair of hands or not actually. So that's in there. In fact I can put it in the shower back down to what I'm thinking. Hot water. Cold water. Let's push in air out again. That's the shower working, and I've just got a wet leg now <laughs> in the boot. Never mind, it was onwards. Um, yeah, the vanity unit covers below with a shelf, like this. Next to the vanity unit, you have a wardrobe with a cupboard above, and this wardrobe just opens up like this. And you've got your hook there for coat hangers and things. And the door just falls back like that. Cupboards above, they do the same, concertina back, cupboard in here. So this is above the what this is the wardrobe. You have a vent above. Hello? <laughs> uh, toilet, the Thetford cassette toilet. This is it. Lift the lid and the seat and to operate this toilet in here. There's a gate that flaps back, and you move that back by turning this. That opens it. Um, do your business with that open, and then you flush it by doing this. That's the pink fluid I was talking about uh, earlier on the outside, and that's now dropped into the cassette that has the blue fluid in it. And below it, you have a, you have a, a level indicator when it's green it's fairly empty and as it fills up it moves to red and when it's getting to that stage it's time to uh, clean it out <coughs> so to the right this area makes up into a double bed which I'll set up in a minute and show you the front the front makes a double bed which I'm going to set up and show you that as well um, the cooker these two rings work, but these back ones don't. So, uh, in fact, I'll light, I'll light it all up and let you have a look. So this is the cooker lit. Um, can you see the flame on it? I wonder. I hope, oh yeah, you can see the flame. So the two front ring, rings work, the back two don't. I'll turn them off. And below, below that, there is the grill. The grill's lit, and a grill pan as well. And then below the grill is an oven. The oven's on. The oven's lit. I'll 
I'll just turn that off because it's red hot in here. Nice day in West Yorkshire again. So oven works, grill works, two front rings on the hob work, the two back ones don't. Uh, next to the cooker is the fridge and unfortunately the, fr the fridge doesn't work. To the right of the fridge is a gas fire. The gas fire works and above the gas fire is a couple of drawers. Like so. Uh, and the sink with the plug, plugs there. Um, hot tap. The water gets lovely not in here. Hot tap, cold tap, all the taps work in the van. To the right of the sink you have the controls for the blown air heating system. So although the gas fire works you can either use a gas fire or if you use this system it blows uh, hot air out through vent outlets in the van. Um, one down there, there's one under the vanity sink there, in there, and to operate this what you do, if, to, to make this blow hot air, fan master heater, click that switch on and then you come up to this unit, uh, now this is a thermostat control and an on and off switch and I normally have it on the electric slow fan on the so this is on the 240 volt hookup never tried it on the gas so to get it into this to get it to work in the electric slow fan press that once and this top green light flashes now I want it in this position so it's one two three four now what's happening is there's a light there that goes steady and what it does it operates a, uh, an electric fan that blows hot air around the van. Very, very effective, very easy to use. I'll just turn that back off. Next door is a 240 volt household plug socket, that works. And above here is um, a jack for a TV aerial and a 12 volt plug socket for a 12 volt TV um, to operate the television system where the leisure battery is. To the left of the ledger battery there's the electric hookup, then below that there's two TV aerial sockets. So you need an outside TV aerial to run a TV in this van. Above there is a, a carbon monoxide um, alarm. Uh, probably could do with a brand new battery, just to keep it safe. Now the hot air water system in uh, the, the hot water system in this van at the minute um, can work two ways. One is by this control, you press that button, the top light comes on and it's working on the gas or down here, which is a more effective way of getting hot water water heater, you just click this on, it lights up and that's all you have to do to get the hot, hot water working in this caravan on the 240 volt hookup lead very simple, just on and off so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to, I'm going to make up this bunk and I'm going to make up this double bed and I can show you that. And all this, the way to make up this double bed is, um, I'll just show you, there's a drawer below here for access, for storage. And there's a little toggle there, push that up, push the door in and then put the toggle back down and it holds the door. And there's also a cupboard space here which I've forgotten where you would stand a TV and another hot air blown vent here. Right, beds. All you do to get the bed out, you get hold of this, pull this forward, like this. So these, this is the lats for the bottom bunk. And then all you do is rearrange the cushions Like this, the cushions have been rearranged, so you sleep across the bed, and then it also gives you a, a seating space here. Uh, these bunks, this makes a, uh, a bunk at the bottom, and you just slide these lats across, as you did with the other bed. Rearrange the cushions, and then this section here, uh, concertina's out and makes the top bunk like this 
so that's now the bottom bunk and the top bunk made up and then you have a curtain here that goes round on this rail to make this area private so you just pull the curtain round and you've got a quiet you've got a, a private sleeping area there so it ends up looking like that there's also a light in there so that's the uh, that's the bunk beds and the double bed at the front made up there we go uh, it has at the windows all the window stairs are good when I say window stairs I mean these that all the window up they're all good all around the van the blackout blinds and fly nets are all good apart from the fly net in this window doesn't work and the fly net in that window doesn't work but you've got all the blackout blinds you've got the curtains uh, you can get your privacy um, here is uh, an owner's manual for the caravan like this and then the motor, mo the motor mover that we spoke about outside can't get it to work but that's the remote for it you might be a cleverer person than me who can sort it who knows so there we go that's the inside of the caravan um, remember it's going on eBay it's, I'm going to set it off at 99p uh, it'll, it's going to run for seven days I don't want to, any offers on it I don't want to swap it for anything it's going on auction, it'll stay on auction so you've now looked at this video you can make an informed decision whether it's for you or not um, and it will be there the caravan will run the full length of the auction and uh, happy bidding oh and also um, I can deliver this caravan to you if you like I can deliver it for one pound a mile postcode to postcode one way so there you go that's the caravan I think I've just about covered everything um, so happy bidding bye for now Oops, sorry I forgot to add just before we go um, the floors are solid in this caravan um, there's no water leaking in and there's no um, damp, musty smells. Thanks for now. Bye.